Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's it's going to be a little bit of a different tutorial. I'm going to do how to look your best when you're feeling sick as I'm currently under the weather. So we're going to get started. I'm just going to use a little bit of moisturizer. Use whatever works for you. I'm using the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair. You just really want to hydrate your skin. It's going to make your makeup sit better. And if you're not getting enough fluids and whatnot, your skin can look really dull when you're sick. So I'm gonna start with a primer. I'm using the Makeup Forever HD. This one has hydrating properties as well as mattifying properties. So it works really well on my combination skin. It's definitely what I wanna go for when I'm sick. So you just wanna put that all over. Now I'm just using my normal foundation and I'm using a flat top Kabuki brush by Sigma. My normal foundation is just Makeup Forever HD mixed with Elamasca Skin Base in White. So you just wanna use anything that's slightly a lighter coverage to medium. You don't want to do too full a lot of times when you're sick just because it can look a little more mask like and look a little more dry. We really want to look as live and awake as we can. Um, that's the other reason I'm opting for the flat top kabuki brush because we're going to buff it into our skin. As you can see you can still kind of see freckles and I'm going to have to go through and conceal any imperfections. I just go over with a damp beauty blender just because I like the finish the beauty blender gives slightly better. So. This step is optional. So now we're gonna start concealing. I'm using the NARS concealer in Chantilly and I'm just doing any discolorations. Um, I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation from a past breakout and since I'm sick, you usually get redness around your nose. So now we're gonna start with uh, priming our eyes. I do this step now just because I don't like to do it after my foundation's all done. So this might seem out of order to you, but I'm just using the Pro Prime by NARS and then I'll kind of finish and do everything else. So this is the most important part. You really want to conceal those dark circles if you get them. As you can see, I get them really bad, especially when I'm sick. So I'm using the NYX corrector in FAIR. Um, I will link somewhere on the screen here my in-depth tutorial on covering dark circles. So I'm just starting out with the corrector going over just where I have darkness and since I'm sick, I'm not using any brushes. I'm just going with my fingers. You'll notice I'll use my fingers a lot. So I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly and then we're going to use that to conceal under our eyes. Um, the creamy one I like better just because this one you can build up to a full coverage. So a lot of times I'll go down with the concealer stick first and then I'll go over with this one if I need a little extra coverage. So I'm just blending that with a beauty blender. I feel like this gives me the most seamless finish, especially since I'm going with something that's a little more full coverage under my eyes into a lighter coverage of foundation. Here I'm just taking a tissue apart and I'm just blotting under my eyes. As you can see, you can still kind of see some darkness. So I'm doing a second layer of concealer. Using the tissue, you're gonna take a little bit of that extra emollients off so when you powder, it's not just gonna be a cakey mess and you still get the extra coverage. So as you can see, I'm also just fixing where I have a little bit of blemishes. I want my skin to look nice since I'm not gonna be doing as much with my eyes as I normally would because I'm sick. So again, just blend that. Blending is always the key and make sure it just looks like I've got a good night's sleep. So I'm just taking the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder and I'm using that on a Real Techniques sponge and I just use that to set under my eyes and my concealer. So now we're going to do our brows and I'm using the Sephora Collection Retractable Brow Pencil in Neutral Gray Brown. I'm just using that to kind of define the shape of my brow. So just using that a little bit, just to add some definition, blending it upwards with an Anastasia number 12 brush. And then I'm just taking a little bit of dip brow and taupe. And I'm just using that to kind of give a little more definition to my brows. I'm just going over my natural brow shape and just making it a little bit darker. I'm not really going to chisel or do anything fancy like normal. So do your brows however you feel like doing it. So next we're gonna go into eyes. And I'm using a Sigma E60 to apply MAC Blanc Type. This is what I'm using as a base shadow. So use any shadow that's matte and close to your skin color. And I just got some stuff from Play Beauty. So I'm using their Mineral and Mineral Matte shadows just to try it out. So I'm using that center shade on a MAC 242. And that's just kind of a 
neutral rose gold color. Then I'm going into a darker matte brown and I'm using a Hakuhodo BJ142 to apply. And I'm just going to go right through the socket with that and just slowly build up color just so we have a little bit of definition on our eyes. You can always just use one shadow or none. I don't know what you do when you're feeling sick, but this I feel like makes me look a little more put together and a little more awake. So as you can see, I'm running it just barely on the lash line and doing a little more definition. Now I'm grabbing in with that lighter kind of yellowy highlight shade and I'm using a Sigma E45 and I'm using that to highlight and you really want to highlight that inner corner when you're sick because we want to look awake and alive and not like we're sleepy on cold medicine. So I'm also going to use that to highlight my brow bone and then a little bit right under the tear duct because again, we just want to look awake. Now I'm taking that paintbrush that I love and I'm just using that to apply that dark brown color under our eyes and then going with a clean E25 by Sigma to blend it all out so we have no harsh lines and blend away. Now you really want to curl your lashes because you really want to give again that wide awake look and then you want to tight line is optional i'm using a brown just so it's a little bit softer and then i'm also going to line my inner rim with a nude liner and then go ahead and use some mascara again we really just want to open the eyes as much as we can which is why we're using that nude liner on the waterline and mascara in the top so next up is going to be some blush i'm using the benefit rocketeur blush and i'm using that on a makeup and hair addiction the blusher brush i'm choosing this color just because it's pretty natural flush on me i don't know about you but i definitely get a lot less color to my face when i'm sick so you want to just bring back kind of a healthy glow if you have a deeper complexion than me or you like a bronze look, you could also use a bronzer as well just to kind of add a little more glow, just a little more color to the face just so you don't look like you're sick. Go for then a highlighter. I'm using the Becca Shimmery and Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I'm going for this just because it has a almost wet sheen as well, so you're going to get that dewy kind of pretty healthy skin look that it's well hydrated my skin usually gets really dry and not very nice when i'm sick so this gives me that nice kind of luminous glow and i look a little more alive so then just hit your cupid's bow and you also can hit the center of your nose if you so desire i just want to bring a little bit of the sheen to the center of my face so my lips get really dry so i'm just going to use a little bit of a q-tip just to exfoliate now I'm going for the Play Beauty Lip Gloss in Calypso. Choose anything that's kind of, again, natural-ish color. I usually go for gloss over lipstick just because, again, your lips may be a little more dry, especially if you have a stuffy nose or something. So either a hydrating lipstick or lip gloss and something that's sheer and not a lot of work is ideal. Now I'm using a little bit of the NYX Dewy Sitting Spray. Again, we just kind of want that pretty a live dewy ish look so that's what i'm going for so as you can see this is the finished look it looks a little more alive when you feel like that basically i added some lashes just because i'm going to take some instagram photos of this these are the carousel lashes in iris so this is the finished look on how to look healthy when you just aren't feeling too great i hope you enjoyed this please like and subscribe if you did see you soon